Hey, welcome back to the channel. Today I am, uh, I've got a little bit of time. I can actually do a couple things. So what I'm gonna do today is, uh, you can see, we've got these uh, pieces laid out. These are the eighth inch plywood. Um, and what I did, I just go up here, is I actually made a mark. I think you can see that mark there. I think you can see that better. What I did is I marked the center line of this uh, of this field on the left. And what that's going to allow me to do is when I come in here and glue these, it basically get glued to the web and to here, down here, so this is something like this. So that center line, since I had my uh, piece of laser cut with the reference line on it, it makes it really simple. And then all I have to do is basically line this up. With the line, and then I will. Um, what I believe I'm going to do is, um, yeah, I'm going to use plants. <laughs> uh, a second there. I'm going to use some clamps on those just to hold those in place while the while the glue dries. And uh, the way it lays out is the eighth inch, the the root and tip rib. You can see in there, they've actually already got uh, they've already got this piece put in before you do all of this work here, which you saw me do before. Um, I think, yeah, you saw me add that. Um, but uh, and number five, remember, number five rib actually has it already in place, and that is centered on the rib here. And then the same at the tip. Where it's uh, centered on the rib. You can see that. See it's centered on here. So the, uh, the layout for this is at rib number one, two, three, four, skin five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. They all get the eight the eight inch plywood um, here, which will go like I showed you before, it goes down here. It goes on the inside of all of these toward the inboard, um, toward the, the root rib. So all of these eight inch ones go, go on the inside. And so you get all the way down here to the root itself. And this one actually goes to the outboard side, um, right here, so instead of going on the inboard side put it in here. It actually goes on this one side. And then at rib number four and rib number seven, these are the two locations where when you wrap the uh, plywood around the leading edge here, it's, uh, this is the joint at which that plywood uh, terminates. So they actually get um, the quarter inch material that's actually centered on the rib, like that, just like that. And then you actually come in and you also are going to get, I just dropped it out, but it's going to also get this rib on the uh, on the other side that basically gives you three-eighths of an inch at that overlap point. So, Plenty of material to glue to where there's overlap. So I'm going to uh, mix up some epoxy um, since I've got everything laid out, all my center lines drawn. Oh, and there's one more step actually. Um, after all of those, there is one more that's right here at rib number five and that it gets another quarter inch piece that is actually seven eighths of an inch away from, from here uh, to the rib, to the edge of this rib, uh, false nose rib here. Uh, it actually goes uh, seven eighths of an inch, and that's going to get glued. Um, that's going to get glued right there because this is where the uh, bearing support passes through. So I think it gives you some additional support. So when you cut a hole in the leading edge of this plywood, 
it's nice and supported on both sides, so um, you don't want to forget to have that quarter inch rib right there. So, uh, yeah, so I will get uh, I will get the T88 mixed up. I'm gonna get all my clamps laid out, and uh, so I'll be all organized and ready to do this. So, um, yeah, cool, so let's knock this one out. All right, so I got that part all done, and uh, that actually, it went pretty smooth. I got, uh, I'll show you what I got. I mean, I'll start at rib number, rib number 
10. So that's just an eighth inch piece that's on the uh, inside. And I don't know if you noticed, you probably couldn't see it in the video, but um, once I got that, once I had one of them figured out and it was centered up the way it needed to be, I actually used a piece of 16th inch plywood because it worked out that, that on mine, the uh, uh, very top of that uh, nose rip was 16th of an inch from the top surface of the uh, yeah, rib. So I was actually using it as a gauge as I went along, which made it really easy. Um, rib number seven has got the uh, it's got the eighth inch, uh, and then it's also got the uh, the piece that's inserted in the middle, the quarter inch that gives that three eighths of an inch uh, section there where the plywood will overlap, uh, not overlap, but where the plywood meets and butt joints right on the center of that. And so when I got to rib number five, where this piece is seven eighths of an inch away from the rib here, I just put a couple staples in the back of it. I don't know if you can see that. Um, and those two staples allowed me to just gently bend that uh, back and just until I got it centered the way I wanted it. And it's kind of holding it tight to there. And uh, the number four rib has the uh, that's the quarter inch and the eighth inch. And then uh, eighth inch on number three, number two, and uh, eighth inch on number one, which is the only one that's different because it's on the outboard side of the rib rather than the inboard side of the rib. So there you have it. Um, got that step out of the way. And uh, now um, the next step will be, uh, we're gonna, when this uh, is set, next step is to flip the whole wing around again put the uh, trailing edge against the fence and then we will um, add all of the nose ribs uh, in place and then uh, we'll just keep uh, cranking along and then I'm gonna have to make the thing that helps you make the thing which is actually a little jig that you use to um, after you soak your plywood in water um, you put it in this form uh, and kind of clamp it in place and then let it dry and it actually will take the shape of the uh, rib or of the uh, of the nose the nose rib and but you'll get to see all that and how it goes and which helps a great deal when you're getting ready to uh, apply that to the leading edge of the wing and uh yeah so thanks so much for following along um it's really cool to uh to see we've got some new subscribers and so i hope you're enjoying this and that you pick up something along the way and uh yeah i will uh i'll catch you later